Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Big Fish Lad. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Paul. And as you can see, I'm sat in the car. So it's Saturday and me and Joe are massive, massive hikers. So every Saturday we go and hike for up to 10 miles, sometimes more. Um, and what we like to do is we like to go into the highest points in every area. We're a little bit obsessed with it. But today, the wind and the rain is absolutely shocking. So I'm being a fair weather hiker and I'm not going out. I'm having a weekend off. So I've decided that I'm going to go and see my mate Mark at my local fish shop, Burton Ernie's. And um, we've not been for a long time. And the last time we was in there, I told you that we'd do an update on the monster tank that he was building for those Paku that he took off one of his customers. So we'll go and see where we were, where we are now with that. Previously, when we went last time, he'd built the tank, but there was no water in it. So little birdie tells me the fish are in the tank now. So we'll go and have a look at his monster tank with the Paku's in, and we'll have a look at any stock that he's got in that might interest you guys. So let's get on the road. So we've just arrived at Bernanis. It's in a mill. I've showed you that before if you've seen my previous tours of Mark's shop. But well, it's actually a unit, um, second floor up, and it's quite a big place. So let's check out what he's got. So first thing that caught my eye was this Cuban. Beautiful Cuban cyclin. And actually, this was in such good nick. Um, you know, you can't fault it. It's a beautiful fish. It's right up the channel, the street of the channel. You know I have one as well, and you know we know that we had our issues with it. We still have that in my son's tank. Um, and it's, I think it's reserved at the moment, actually. But nevertheless, you know, we like these, you know, and I, I, it's one of the fish that I've always struggled to keep. Um, these are its tank mates, that's a nice bush fish. I always forget the name of these other fish, the banded leper or something, I can never remember the name. Anyway, it's got some good old Oscars, and obviously know from my channel that these are something I kept for a long time. Obviously, moved on to the wild type. These are captive bred, decent size. You know, they're around, let's probably say, eight inches. Um, and a couple of nice ones, actually. A couple of nice ones, and there was some more in this tank. It was quite a big tank, but I just filmed this, the ones in this corner. Um, obviously, a channel favourite from back in the day. The old Oscar Cichlid, wet pet. And then another fish that I have history with is the Waru. These are very young. They look like this when they when they're young with them little spots. And these have the the you know these have got a lot of changing in them to happen, but I just thought I'd show them you because we always talk about the Waru and we talk about my past and stuff like that. And they're in my art, this fish, and these are okay, good little project for somebody. Little koi pond in the corner, so obviously it's the time of year to start getting your smaller koi in your tanks and growing them out for next summer. Um, saw some nice ghost carp, some nice ghost carp in here, um, but they're only like what four inches, maybe five at the most. But yeah, it's not really my thing. Obviously, cold water ponds and stuff, but you know, there's some nice ones. If anyone's in the area and they fancy stocking up for next summer, um, and then. Obviously, I've showed you this every time we've been in. I can't believe it's still in the shop, but this is a lynx catfish. So, these fish are mega expensive. And in the UK, they can fetch anything from about £800 to well over £1,000. Um, and I know Mark would take the bottom end of that range for it, but it's been in his, in his shop for a while. They don't ship very well, which is what then puts the price on them. Um, but yeah, a nice fish all the same. There's some of these parrots fishing now, not my thing, not into these at all, but I know there's a lot of people who are into them. You can't knock the colour on them, they're a nice colour, but they're just not for me. You know, and I know that I used to keep flower horns and stuff like that, but I've come away from that now, but I would never have really kept one, kept these, I'm not really into them. But I thought I'd show you, because they're a decent sized cichlid. Um, there was this 
single rainbow cichlid in and as you know we've got a pair so my channel's got a pair of these and he was one on his own decent size as well you know probably not far off fully grown to be honest with you there was also some small chocolate cichlids and I think that they were a bit they seemed a little bit nervous so a little bit stressed out but very small this couple so there's a couple of sevs I think if I'm right I think the green sevs so you know your common severing but actually look at, looking at the big one they could they couldn't they might not be but yeah you, you tell me what you think guys but um convicts good old convicts so convicts are the bread and butter of the american cichlid world in my eyes they are absolutely the underrated undervalued fish and they are so hardy and a great little fish to keep and he had a fair few of them in as well today um, he's always got convicts in i think he's got a breeder who supplies them these were quite interesting um the vieja Art Wygate, and I think that, you know, me of old probably would have took one of these home, and I didn't, guys, so it's, I haven't brought one home, but actually, quite interesting fish, you know, as I've got VA, and obviously I've got the Oscora, Oscora Etra Spear. I did think about it, it did cross my mind, but I didn't take one home, guys, I didn't bring anything home with me. Um, and then, this is Larry the Lungfish, so this is a shop pet, and Mark rescued this fish years and years ago, so he's been in the shop for a hell of a long time. He's um, very, very aggressive. You can't have tank mates with him. He'll just kill them. And I think they learnt that years ago. But he has a little tank under the counter that he lives in. That's Larry the Lungfish. African Lungfish as well, guys, that is. And obviously I said to you, yeah, I wanted to show you his monster tank for the Paku, Paku. So we are definitely further on than we were last time. So this tank is 10 foot long, 4 foot front to back and 3 foot high. Now, it's still not big enough for all these pacus, but it's the best that Mark could fit in. Now, one of Mark's problems is he's got a heart the size of the globe. He's got a huge heart, and he took them, and he ends up building this tank for them. I think eventually he's obviously going to have to find a new one, but knowing Mark, he'll probably build a big, massive pond in the shop because he's got so much room to do that, and I wouldn't even write that off with him because that's what he's like. But right now, they're okay. This is the biggest tank you're going to get in that shop for these. And fair play to Mark, because out of his own pocket, he built this tank. So think about that, guys, if you want to show some hate on these fish. Because I know in the last video, someone has. But I respect Mark for trying to give him an home. So let's think about that. So anyway, guys, we are going to go and wrap this up and go home now. So I hope you enjoyed that fish shop tour. And I know some of you will have an opinion on the pacus and stuff like that. But Mark is a fish shop owner. And people put these things on him. And I always tell him that he shouldn't do it. But he can't turn them away. So the Daft Sword's actually gone and built that massive tank to house these fish. But there's another video in this somewhere, isn't there, about fish shops selling these monster fish. They shouldn't be selling them. So if you have a shop, you shouldn't be selling monster fish, guys. Come on, because that's what happens. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the uh, video, guys. Um, thanks to everybody that shows me support, subscribes comments likes whatever if you're not subscribed guys consider subscribing click the button and ping the bell for future notifications that is me i am out and i will see you on the next one